Lauren. You are my best friend, my supporter, my partner in everything, and about to become my wife too. I'm incredibly lucky that you decided I'm okay to hang out with, <laughs> and that I get to spend my life with you. Depending on which one of them you ask, Craig and Lauren either met at Lauren's sister Elise's graduation party bonfire, or when Lauren convinced Elise to create a bowling team made up of WPI alumni, of which Craig was one. I became very good friends with Craig. At WPI, I learned of his love for board games and Disney, which are Lauren's favorite things. And so I came up with a masterful plan. <laughs> I would invite both of them to meet me somewhere. And um, about 15 minutes after we were supposed to meet, I'd be like, sorry, I can't make it. And they, they'd just be stuck together. This is the best work I've ever done. <laughs> so then I asked her out over the phone to one of my family's favorite restaurants, The Melting Pot. It's kind of a unique dining experience and Lauren had never really done this before. I just start like throwing the shrimp into the boiling pot of broth. <laughs> it just starts cracking up and, and he's like, no, you have to leave it on the skewer, otherwise you can't get it out. <laughs> but it was a nice date, it was like three hours. And then um, mid-November, November 14th, we made it official. She moved down to D.C. for her master's degree in public health. I've learned that his uncle, before I left for D.C., actually gave him a ring. A little while after she came back, her father passed away. But Craig had the opportunity to talk to him before he passed away, which was really special to me. Are your lips words fall like melody? Look at it. It's doing so well. So I waited a year and a half to actually propose. It was the end of January. We still had our tree up. And so as we're taking down the ornaments, we're just, you know, talking. It's like one of the last few ornaments she finally gets to, our bowling ornament. Which I had given Craig for our first Christmas together. And I realized that there was a ring hanging from it. And I said, wait, what? <laughs> so he, he popped down on one knee and said, will you marry me? It was really perfect. Hi. Oh, beautiful. Thanks. Yay. You look great. <laughs> Craig is just the best supporter and cheerleader. I just feel like he'll always be there for me and he's always rooting for me. My favorite thing about Lauren is how passionate and caring she is. She, she's always doing something to try to help other people. Just kind of the exact kind of person that I, I am and I want to be with. Take my hand. have spent the past few years learning and discovering together. They have celebrated accomplishments, made mistakes, laughed and cried, and grown together. They have encouraged and inspired each other to be their best selves. And they have discovered together what it truly means to share your life with another person. Lauren, with this ring, I give you my promise. Craig, with this ring, I give you my promise share my life and my love with you. Always. Always. We've known each other for almost seven years, and although I know you better than anyone, you still surprise me every day. I will always try really, really hard to survive your endless, tangent-infused stories without spacing out. I will always laugh with you when you drop food on the table or floor during every single meal. Despite your best efforts to stand still, I will always try to make you dance while we are cooking dinner. 
I will always stand by your side, support you, and help you achieve your dreams. It is now my honor to pronounce that you are husband and wife. wait to make new memories with you as my sister and I'm excited to see you become a part of our family and also part of yours. Craig and Lauren, here's to a happy marriage full of lots of smiles. We've already been through so much together over the years, and I can't wait to start the next chapter of our lives together. I love you.